Hello, this is Ken, back with you again. Last time uh, we talked about mind ticks and the helmet of armor of your, uh, that needs to go around your mind to protect you from <clears throat> all these wild thoughts that pass through your mind. But today I want to talk to you about uh, the distractions, things that occupy your mind that aren't necessarily mind ticks, but things that uh, happen in the outside world that grabs for your attention and keeps you from from the most important thing that you can do and that is to hear God uh, it says that uh, my sheep know my voice I wonder today how many of us really know the voice of God anymore or ever did in the first place of course you can't ever hear the voice of God until he starts calling you and he somehow captures your attention and then maybe you you accept him and then the next thing you know you have the Holy Spirit but then all of a sudden <clears throat> the cares of this world drowned out the voice of God and you no longer can hear him any longer and one of the things that's happening in this world today is the acceleration of knowledge and the increase of the development of technology today uh, uh, the internet uh, has billions of visitors <clears throat> every day and uh, not only is the internet demanding a lot of our attention or commanding or distracting us but also the whole concept of cell phones on and off the phone texting it's it's unbelievable and then there's Facebook the whole concept of Facebook where people are uh, he hearing all this information from their friends and acquaintances and it becomes a real problem with regard to hearing the voice of God because we have so many distractions we cannot and any longer hear or maybe we never did in the first place but these distractions are, are a terrible problem uh, for us and so how do we get back to square one how do we how do we how do we hear the voice of God well one, one thing we have to do is we got to put aside all of these things that distract us and sometimes that's not easy to get away from the distractions now, one of the things that we can learn from the life of Christ is that at night he would go up on the Mount of Olivet and uh, he would pray. He often went into the wilderness where there were no distractions. He just quieted the outer dimension and put, on, uh, uh, put himself in a place where he could hear. And I want to encourage you to, to stop what you're doing in terms of allowing for these distractions. And if that's too difficult then you simply have to get away. You have to go to the to a mountain like the Mount of Olivet. And you can't go to that particular mountain because that's already in Israel. But there are other places of wilderness where you can go to quiet yourself. And then we are able to hear the still, small voice of God. So I want to encourage you to seek out the wilderness, to put aside all these external distractions, and help yourself to hear him once again. I'm Ken Klein.